Hi, Larry, WD08KX, and I've always wanted to try something. I've heard for many years you could use a tree as an antenna in an emergency type situation, but uh, I thought I'd do a little test here today, and a very unscientific and simple test, but just to get an idea here if this might work or not. So I'm going to take some 4-inch nails and drive them into a few trees. I'm just going to touch my telescopic whip antenna to my Sony ICF2010 shortwave receiver here, see if we get any indication on the signal strength meter of an increased signal using the tree as an added antenna to the whip here. This radio does have an external antenna input, I realize. Um, that's for using long wire antennas and uh, anything longer than the whip really so you don't overload the radio. But I don't think we're going to overload it here, so we're going to just try the whip antenna. So let's go outside and give this a try, just for the fun of it, see what kind of results we have. Kind of as a reference, I have a short piece of wire, actually about 20 feet or so, just laying on the floor in the shack here. And you can see when I touch it to the whip antenna, the signal strength does increase. So let's go outside. This tree is in my backyard. It's not in the best of shape and it's lost a lot of its leaves here for the fall season already. We'll give it a try. I'm just going to drive a nail in towards the base and another nail up a little ways farther on the tree as a tap point. thought I would try uh, checking the resistance of the tree between my nail points with an ohmmeter just to see what it shows. Uh, showing about 6 or 7 K ohms. An actual piece of wire would show about 0 ohms or close to 0 ohms a dead short. So let's go ahead and touch the antenna to the lower nail on the tree here, watching the signal strength meter on the radio. I'm listening to station WWV. Since they broadcast on several frequencies throughout the shortwave spectrum, it makes kind of a nice test signal. I'm switching back and forth between 5, 10, and 15 megahertz here during my tests. And right now I'm not really noticing much of a difference at all, maybe just a slight bit of difference in signal strength here. So uh, it's not looking very promising here so far, I guess. Let's move up to the upper nail here on the tree, see if that makes any difference. I know the Signal Corps at one time uh, wrote up some papers on this. That's my understanding. Um, I've never seen them, but I guess they uh, actually used this technique and did uh, some testing using trees as antennas. Well, uh, no changes there. Let's shorten the antenna on the radio here and kind of decrease the sensitivity of the radio and make the whip smaller. Let's see if we get any changes that way. Touch the short whip to the tree connection here and um, still really no changes. The signal is just weaker altogether and the tree doesn't seem to be helping us much at all. Now I'll move on to a much larger tree in my front yard with more leaves on the top. We'll see if that makes any difference. Did another ohmmeter reading here. Doesn't really show much uh, uh, other than to prove that the tree does have some conductivity, about 10 k ohms here. Since the tree has moisture in it, it's going to conduct a little bit. Uh, you can see here it's still at that high resistance value. It still probably makes a much better insulator than a conductor. No changes here in signal strength that I can really tell. I think I'll still use my trees as antenna supports and use the wire for antennas try the upper nail here same results well that's the results we come up with here not looking very promising um, if you've tried this before with better results let me know or leave a message or if you know what I might be doing wrong something that uh, might improve it maybe driving a ground rod in I don't know I think for now I'll just stick with my wire I have plenty of wire around so I think I better just stick with that for now uh, We'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this fun little experiment here. 7-3.